What a great story by Dusty. And uh, it's just amazing how we found all these connections. And we can't wait to share the games with you and more stories. So please stick with us on KSBY. It'll be a lot of fun. Pismo Beach, Surfline looking really nice today, but a lot of high cloud cover in the area and some pesky low cloud cover in a few spots as well. So let's talk about what's happening right now. You can see all of that monsoonal cloud cover in the region. 75 in Santa Barbara, west southwest winds 7 miles per hour. San Luis Obispo, 68. So you get the high clouds. There's also some haze. So most of the fire smoke is being carried out of the region, but the low level smoke is getting ushered in by a little bit of a northwesterly breeze. And Avila Beach webcam 68 winds 5 miles per hour. Deep interior still mid 90s. Paso Robles 89, but look what's happening at the coast. 64 Santa Maria and Lompoc 68 in San Luis. So the relative humidity is high here. The interior still really dry, but again, this is what I've been talking about for days, how these temperatures were going to start to collapse in some of the warmest spots, and that is happening dramatically today. Winds currently 10 to 20 miles per hour. No advisory for Santa Barbara County. If you watch yesterday, we did have a wind advisory through 3 a.m. Been safe fair forecast tomorrow. We're not looking at 100 degrees. We're looking at peaks in the low to mid 90s, meaning the run up is fine and the evening looks really nice tomorrow at the mid state fair. Extended forecast also really interesting too. Look at this, you get 80s as we go into Sunday and Monday, but temperatures quickly springboarding back to the 100 degree range through Thursday of next week and then a couple of what could be extreme days late next week to keep an eye on. Coastal valleys mild, early and late clouds, mid 70s, west facing beaches, early and late clouds. Afternoons at the warmest beaches near 70, the coolest beaches, lower 60s, and south coast temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. Today, Cuyama made a run at 100 degrees, but otherwise mild Goleta 75, 72, Santa Maria, Morro Bay just 61, Paso Robles back down under 195 today. Radar is showing some thunderstorm activity across the west, some trying to get into California, but you can see the steering flow here is northeasterly. The Las Vegas area was essentially surrounded by storms today. So there's a little trough across the west that's going to deepen the marine influence, get the cooler air into the interior. The winds are going to start to calm down a bit, and that's going to allow a lot more low cloud cover to form at the beaches and near coastal valleys. And we're going to get some of those clouds into the interior as well. What's interesting Sunday and Monday, it does look like some of the monsoon could shoot out here to the west again, not putting rain in the forecast yet. And even if we saw it, it would be kind of like what we saw last weekend where we get a couple of drops here and there, but it's not widespread. And again, currently I don't really have it in, but it is something I'm watching. Low 70s, Santa Maria and Lompoc, mid 70s, San Luis, low 80s, Paso Robles in the 90s, 94 tomorrow, 86 Atascadero, 62 Cayucas and Morro Bay, 65 in Cambria, five cities. I like the daytime highs to be right around 70 degrees. So beaches not too bad tomorrow. Santinez, 88, 90 Solvang, 97 Cuyama, 77 in Carpinteria. And the extended forecast downward as we go into the weekend and then as we get into the middle of next week, starting to push upward. And again, you really see that in the interior valleys when we come off temperatures in the triple digit range, getting into the 80s. Wow, feels so good, but then quickly returning back up. Back to you.